So the big theme for mobile here was Internet of Things, connecting everything, right? All kinds of devices, all kinds of form factors. So traditionally, Mobile World Congress, you know, was kind of stereotyped into handsets and tablets, but that's gone. It's all about connecting cars, connecting coffee machines, connecting thermostats. It's all about connecting again over an operator network or multiple protocols. So I think Mobile World Congress, the whole scope has increased to a trillion devices versus billions of devices and and I think this show is really going to go great from here onwards because because that's where the world is going. I think this year is the first time I've noticed that the uh, the scale of the operator presence where they had gigantic booths promoting the operators themselves has changed slightly to the operators actually starting to enable an industry, enabling an internet of things, enabling mobile payment, enabling people to communicate, enabling the open to over the top players to really play, enabling mobile advertising. So quite a big shift this year in terms of the operators shifting to a strong enabling position and not so much of a, a sort of a we are the operators mode which is really really helpful for the industry. Something that is really catching our attention uh, as a player on the mobile advertising industry is that um, most of the companies are taking advantage of new platforms, new big data analytic platforms and cognitive uh, technology um, in order to take the most out of their audience you know, and their technology. Um, the, um, most of the mobile advertising companies right now, uh, they are uh, making use uh, of um, self-learning algorithms, machine learning algorithms that are allowing us to get more data in real time and really faster uh, in order to take the best decision. Devices obviously dominate, right? You see huge announcements from Samsung with their GS7. Um, the thing that I don't know how much people are talking about but is very fascinating to me is like the Mercedes self-driving car. That's obviously very top of mind for people um, and it's pretty fascinating for me personally. What really attracted me and this year is what we call the modular devices where you could actually put in different modules and make your personal device even more uh, in more exciting and more personalized and I think that's going to be the way to go with all the device in the future and that enhances the whole technology too. Clearly there's been a great deal of uh, a great deal of talk about 5G. There's obviously been a lot of discussion about virtual reality, there have been the launch of new handsets. Um, from my consumer trust perspective, I was excited by uh, Anne Bouvier, the former chief executive of the GSMA, who's now running Safran Morpho, talking about how the future of uh, authentication and the consumer trust that arises from secured identities uh, will come with uh, with biometrics and especially especially face biometrics. I think the, the buzzword Internet of Things is, is really something that's uh, standing out in this year's event. Um, and uh, we had a look at a few products and the amazing thing is that when you talk about connecting machines, uh, some of it may sound very simple, you know, that your fridge will be able to order your milk, perhaps. But when you look at the deeper sense of connecting and what I've seen at this event this year, uh, it's about complete connection and, and, and that is meaning your entire environment is connected from the traffic light that is connected to your car with your car connected to the cars around it to uh, you know your fridge and your toaster and your kettle. Uh, it's, it's really talking about connecting the world. So uh, that certainly seems to be exciting times ahead in how we're going to live our lives.